As an Android user, you must have experienced that the device comes with pre-installed apps from the manufacturer and want to remove them. Or even certain system apps and features that you hardly use. Removing them can help to improve the battery life and potentially reduce overheating if your device does this. Typically, uninstalling such apps requires a PC or a rooted device. Today, I am excited to introduce an awesome software that enables you to forcibly remove all the pre-installed apps and features on an Android device without the need for routing or connecting to a PC. Before proceeding with the process, be aware that removing apps and features that are critical to the functionality of your device may cause issues. Therefore, before deleting, research about its implications of doing it. For this to work, you'll need to ensure you have the following. An Android device which should be running OS 11 or higher. The Android device should be connected to a Wi-Fi network. The Shisuku app which you can obtain from the Google Play Store. The Kanta app which can be downloaded from the F-Droid Store which is a hub to find free and open source apps or GitHub from the developers page. Lastly, developers option feature should be enabled on your device. If it's not, head to the about section in settings, locate the build number option and repeatedly tap it until you receive a confirmation message. With these prerequisites in place, we are ready to dive into the procedure. First, we will have to pair Shisuku app with our device. Begin by enabling notifications within the app. Then, return to Shisuku app to access a new set of instructions that will guide you to the developers options. In it, scroll to the debugging section and activate both USB debugging and wireless debugging. Open the wireless debugging menu and choose the pair with code option. Next, pull down the notification panel and enter the code into the app's notification prompt. Tap send to establish the pairing. Once paired, the Shisuku app will execute a series of commands to start the service. If the service does not start, toggle the USB debugging feature off and on again. Finally, open the Kanta app and mark the checkbox next to the apps you wish to delete. Then, type the dustbin icon. If you aren't sure which apps to remove, you may either tap on an app which will provide you detailed information about its function and usage and accordingly you can decide. Or tap on the three dots in the top right corner to sort apps into categories of unsafe and recommended to remove. This method has been tested on Samsung and Pixel devices with good success. If you have a different brand, refer to the Shisuku's official webpage for additional support regarding wireless service activation. I've posted all the relevant links to the apps in the description. If you still have any queries, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best solving it. I hope you found this technique useful. If you did, I would appreciate a like to this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.